Hey guys, how are you all doing tonight? So, I'm kind of disappointed or not surprised in a way too, ever since the, ever since it was announced that jo the, the Jehovah's Witnesses will be resuming their door-to-door -door work. Man, do you know what's happened in my neighborhood? Well, for the past few weekends on Saturday mornings, I have seen on my way to work in the morning, I have passed by like in a vehicle, but I've seen Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, not only Jehovah's Witnesses, ones that I used to know that were in the congregation I used to go to. That doesn't really bother me. If they want to look me straight in the face, go ahead. Being I know it makes sense that they're that they would still work my territory because I know they I do know the congregation I used to go to doesn't exist anymore. It was merged or consolidated, I forget the exact term, but yeah, it was it was split between the the two neighboring congregations on each side. So yeah, I've seen them out and about uh, wasting their time really. Because if I were um I wanna give you guys like put Give you guys a good example of how I would categorize the Jehovah's Witnesses and just how to think of them when they come to your door or when you see them with their carts. Um, just view them as another scam. I mean, most of you are familiar with that term but nowadays. There's lots of different types of scams. You know, lots where they'll call you on the phone and try to tell you that you have a virus and you gotta go on your computer to get rid of it or romance scams or you've won a trip but you gotta pay for a few things or pretending to be relatives and asking for money there's tons of scams out there and you know why it's great to think about the Jehovah's Witnesses as just another scam because they are they're preaching with a false Bible that they have used and twisted to fit their own beliefs. So that makes them not only a cult, but false Christians. Like, they claim to be Christians. They're not. Those guys, they... They celebrate Jesus' death and they don't even partake of the wine and bread. You know the only other group that does that? The satanic the satanic worshipping cult. Or like Satan worshippers and they Oh man. I would just always try to urge you guys Ignore the pretty pictures on their literature. Ignore whatever speech or or basically memorized presentation that they try to say to you at the door. Um, don't fall for them pretending to take an interest in you either because some of them are good at that like as friendly and honest as they appear to as they may appear to be at the door or when you talk to them like no just keep in mind just keep in mind do not allow yourself to be sucked in they have an agenda they have a lot to hide from you and the real goal is just to make new members of their cult, nothing more than that. So you know what, just think of them as another scam. 
And I also want to mention just something interesting that I saw too within the past couple of weeks. I've seen the Jehovah's Witnesses out and about <clears throat> going door to door again. Um, a few days ago, I saw a place downtown in my city where I have seen carts in the past. I saw a... Well, as I was walking by, I saw in the distance this man sitting on a scooter. And he was, um, at first I thought he was reading a magazine. Like a different kind of magazine. But, but I did think right away, is that... Is he holding up that book? Is that... I wonder if that's JW literature. And I didn't... And as I was passing, I was able to get a closer look. I didn't go up really close, but he was holding up the Watchtower and the Wake magazine. Now, I get it. He, he might have got permission. He might not have. It's been a while since I've seen uh, them take that approach. Because I used to see some of the older brothers and sisters doing that. They would just stand at a spot and hold up magazines but no cart or anything and now i've seen a brother doing something or a jehovah's witnesses doing something like that again so that was interesting to see well i hope i'm not gonna see them too often <laughs> it's eyesores when i see them And nothing but eyesores. So, anyways, yeah, just ignore them. Don't talk to them. Don't get sucked in. They have nothing good to offer you at all. And that's just the plain truth about Jehovah's Witnesses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.